Well, good morning, everyone. Good morning. Today is the day that we're actually going to be, uh, I guess, digging in the dirt and uh, looking for some diamonds. Yes. So we're going to be down here at Crater Diamonds uh, State Park, yep. and we're going to be, uh, I guess, looking for some diamonds. Yep. So we're going to go through the process. They're going to show us kind of how to use some of these tools and kind of how what we need to do to uh, to do to, it. To so. look and find and sift through and all the good stuff. So we're glad to get to share this with you guys and I uh, uh, hope you guys learned something just like us because we don't know what we're doing. We don't have a clue. Nope. So, all right. Digging to China, Nathan? Yeah, I guess. Digging to China. Found any gravel? Uh, yeah, so you can hear it. The thing about diamonds is they come in three colors here at our crater. They come in white, they come in brown, and they come in yellow. I think I remember seeing that it takes like 500 years. I'm thirsty. I'm Friday. Remember Saturday and we'll have a Sunday. So what do we got here today? Well, we're going to show you how to sift through your gravel and dirt. Please. Okay? So when you go out into this field, okay. you'll notice this cloud. It's 37 and a half acres of field. So when you get out there and you're ready to dig, you want to dig at the bottoms of the furrows, the, the uh, washouts at the end of the furrows, because diamonds go downhill when it rains. Downhill? Downhill. So you want to find your low parts of the field. Low parts. Check your washouts at the end of the field. There'll be a lot of rocks or a lot of rocks at the end of the furrows. And you want to dig when you see a lot of rocks. Okay. Rocks catch diamonds. The gravel is what we're looking for, the rocks. We're looking for yes. gravel. Okay. Okay. So don't just dig up plain dirt. If you see clay, which is gray or, gray or green, and you can form it into a ball with your hand and open your hand and it stays a ball and it's kind of sticky, you hit clay and move away. Move away. Clay, move away. Clay, move away. All yes. right. Good run. Okay. Yeah. You only dig about this far down. That's it. You don't have to go any further. Well, I mean, if you want to dig the china, that's fine with me. Why waste your energy? But, exactly. but you've got to fill your hole in by the end of the day. Right. Right. By four. Right. Yes. Right. Okay. Keep anybody from falling in and getting hurt. Absolutely. Okay. So you're going to dig up your buckets of dirt. You're going to head to a wash station. This is called wet sifting. You're going to take the two screens together, stack just like that. And you're going to fill up your top tray. Now, this top tray has quarter inch screen in it. So it's going to catch all your big rocks. Okay. The smaller tray in the bottom, the mesh is finer in it. This is what you're going to use to get your silt out and catch all your low, smaller gravel where hopefully you'll find a diamond. It'd be okay. awesome if you find this diamond up here because in this top screen, it'd be over three carats. Hey, that's what we're looking for. Exactly. <laughs> you want it out of the top screen. Want the top screen. <laughs> yeah, the top screen. Top screen. Got it. Right. Now, another thing about diamonds is they come in three colors here at our crater. They come in white, they come in brown, and they come in yellow. White, brown, yellow. Okay. Well, the white ones are going to look silver, like a piece of tin foil laying down the ground. The brown ones are going to look bronze, and the yellow ones are going to look like gold. Okay. The yellow ones get the most money because they only make up 19% of the fines at the crater. Oh, well, that's good. That's yeah. very interesting. So you kind of want Top yellow. Top and yellow. You want Top screen and yellow. That's okay. what we're shooting for. That's what you want. Okay. So once you got the two screens stacked and you got this top screen filled full of rocks and dirt, and your rocks could be, they'll go through there, could be about that big to this big is what you'll catch in this tray. Okay. Okay. You get anything any bigger than that, just pick it out of your tray and throw it to the side. <clears throat> and Lynn's going to show you how you work these screens in the water. Okay. All right. So step over this way. Their setup is a lot better than ours because they have industrial tanks that you can put your screens okay. into. Okay. And okay. And there's a grate in the tank that will hold your. Uh, so once I pour it into this, then I go over to the wash 
wash station. Mm -hmm. To the wash station. Okay, so we'll yes. do it in sections, I guess. Right. Yes. So I think I'm going to be the sifter or whatever you're be doing. Be prepared to get wet. Now you're, okay. You're going to put it down in the water like that and you can turn it loose because they do have the metal grate to keep it from sinking. Oh, from sinking all the way down? Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. So just emerge it. Now, when you get in the water, you just start working it with your, with your hand like this, doing it. Make sure you dig out the corners because small diamonds and gravel can hide in the corners of your screen. Okay. Like that. And when you feel nothing but bigger stone in there, get that work down. You take it out. But like Sarah said, you don't Ooh. discard this because any, anything you find in here is going to be three carats or bigger. Okay. You want to look through it and you can find pretty rocks in there that you might want to take home for memories and stuff. Okay. Now this part, you might want to step back just a little oh. bit because this can get you wet. And I'm okay. You're going to have to move from right here because it will get you wet for right sure. There. I don't want to get anybody oh, wet you're, this you're morning. Doing a, it's going to be a splash. Right? Oh. It's a rock and tap out motion. Rocking. You're going to rock it like that. See how it builds that bridge up? Yeah. Right. Okay, then you turn it a quarter of a turn. Rock it again. Build that bridge up. Now all this is done in the water. Okay. So remember that. Before you tap out, thumbs up, fingertips only, you're going to tap it out flat. See how it went back flat? Okay. You're going to repeat that five more times. You do that uh, six times of tapping out. Six, okay. So that was one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Once you get that six tap out, bring it to its edgy tank, tilt it slightly to drain your water off. Don't tilt it too much because if you tilt it too much, all your material is going to slide down and you've got to start all over on okay. your motions. Alright. Once you get it drained enough, you're going to turn around to your table. Now that table's, we don't, you're not going to have to take, take all these steps down there because their tables are just right behind you at the tank. Okay. Okay. Now on your flip out, you always flip it to you like you do a cake pan. Not ever away from you. If you go away from you, your material is just going to hit and scatter out. And if you've got diamond, you're going to lose it. Absolutely. Try to make sure all four sides of your screen hits the table as evenly as possible. Okay. And there's your center. Ooh. This is where you want to look for that metallic shine. So none of this would be anything. Shouldn't? You can give it a glance over to see if you see anything, but if you don't like Lynn done it, you're you've got a good center and it's tight in the center in the middle. That's where you really, really want to look. Now in this center, all this white you're seeing is either quartz, which ranges from a clear to the milky white, or it's calcite. And calcite is white to a tan color. Okay. okay. There's also other gems to be found in here. There's spinel, which are tiny black sh super shiny pieces. They and garnets are diamond indicators. There's red see-through stone, garnet, January's birthstone. So if you see those, you can pick those out. Now when you go pick anything out of the center, don't do this. See how it pushed everything yeah, down? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what do you do? You use the edge of a fingernail or the edge of a knife oh. to, to lift it out. Let me see if there's any spinel in here. I'm half blind. So right. Okay, that's a spinel. Okay. So once you start finding a lot of those in your center, or you start finding garnets, which you'll find maybe one or two in a flip. What's the green, the green stone or the green, if it's? Oh, you can find peridot. Oh, okay. That's January's birthstone, or not January's, um, August birthstone. Or you can find citrine, which is November's birthstone. Once you look here and you see, you see what you think, see what minerals or gems you want to keep, you can either scoop this up put it in here or you can try again do get centers you just scoop up that center like you're gonna do cookie dough okay and what we'll do is we'll help you get through your gravel again help throw your centers again tighten them up a little bit more and then we'll scoop the centers out so the diamonds always well they kind of go to the center they yes. go to the center they're because very they're dense. heavy they're oh, okay. heavier than the other materials. that's why you do it yes that's why you spin it and everything else. It's laws you, of physics. Yeah, you shake it and it'll be yes. heavier. So right. generally, that's what you want. It'll be always be in the tight centers. Yes. Right. Okay. Now that diamond's going to really shine when this is dry. 
That okay. calcite and quartz is going to take a haze. To and it. all the dirt and everything will just fall off a of diamond because it won't stick right. to it. Right, nothing sticks to a diamond. They don't have a positive or negative charge. Right, gotcha. They're smooth and slick too. And if you get, if you pull something out of your center and you think it might be a diamond, if you've got to clean it off, it ain't. It's not one. No. Oh. Okay. It's probably quartz or something. Yeah. And if you find more than one in your center, it's not a diamond. Right. <laughs> the odds of finding them. <laughs> the odds of finding two in one, in one center are real. I've never heard of it. Right, happen. right. Okay. Any questions? No, I think we'll be good. Are we ready? We got our stuff? Yep, we do. There's three buckets, two types of shovels, and two sets of screens. Alrighty. We're going to do this. We're going to do this. We're going to find some diamonds. Yes. Who feels lucky today? Alright. Hopefully we do feel lucky. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling excited to do this. No, mm. that's all you've been talking about. Well, here we Trainer are. Trainer of Diamond State Park. One thing Arkansas is famous for is their Arkansas diamonds. So who has this on their bucket list to do? Yeah, we had it on our bucket list. You know, we figured we lived in Arkansas. What better way than to go dig for Arkansas diamonds? Absolutely. So, I guess if you need to buy your tickets online, uh, really suggest you go ahead and do that because uh, you have to reserve the slot. So, especially during COVID, I guess you can only have 1,500 uh, people per day or something. Some people, some people do this, I guess they do it for a living or do it professional or whatever, so. You have fun with a little cart, hun? Oh, <laughs> well, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Digging to China, Nathan? Yeah, I guess. Digging to China. Found any gravel? Uh, yeah, so you can hear it. See the shiny stuff? You hear that? Yeah. That's gravel, so I'm just trying to dig it up. I get all the shiny pieces. I think maybe after this bucket I may take it down because I feel lucky. Okay. Well, I found some shiny stuff. I guess that's a, a hit sign where this gravel, so I don't just have to see, huh? I don't know what that is. But it definitely did uh, start shining. Get it all in the middle. Like that, see? And I've been pushing this through because see, I got a lot of clay here. Yep, like that. Oh, no. Oh, no. Trying to keep from getting wet, all of them? Uh, my legs are soaking. Oh, yeah, she's wet. Out here digging, I don't think it's uh, 
75 degrees. But it's already a hot one. Make sure when you guys come, if you come out here to Crater Diamonds, that you definitely bring plenty of water because you need to stay hydrated. So, well, back to digging. One, autumn, it's one o'clock. How are we doing? Uh, good. Hot, tired, dirty? All those things, plus one more. You want it to look, you want it to look like that, where you see the center, see? Like that dude right there. Here we are, Nathan. They're tired, they're heated, trying to stay dehydrated and in the shade. Yeah, it's one o'clock and we have three more hours of the clothes. It'd be nice to find one on the top tray. Yeah. Kind of look. Hey, what's that? What is that? Ooh, that's nice. Oh my. <laughs> my and the money? <laughs> Milky kind of ones are calcite, they're calcium deposits. Oh, yeah, we got some quartz. The blue ones are barite, it's a barium deposit, and all the little black bits are uh, lamprite. That's your lava rock. So, all oh, that's going to be calcite. Okay. Soft and brittle. Soft and brittle. And that, those are what? The blue ones? Yeah. Quartz. I'm spent. I'm done. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm overheating. <laughs> it's hot. But in springtime, I don't do well with the weather. Well, it's a good thing it wasn't summer. I know, right? So it only got up to about 79 degrees or 80 degrees a day. But uh, uh, don't think we, we didn't find any diamonds no. here at Crater Diamond State Park. The one that we found was quartz. Yeah, so we didn't. But uh, we do have a bucket that where we are RVing, where they have a station where we can sift and do that and they'll, right. and they're gonna help us. So we do have like a bucket of potential kind of dirt yeah. and centers and stuff that we, it was, it was, it was definitely a good time. So in the if, fall. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe have somebody else help dig for you. So, yeah. uh, it is definitely a lot of work, but it is a lot of fun, uh, as you can see. So, well, we hope, uh, everybody kind of enjoyed this little venture with us and yeah. being with us. So Absolutely. we hope to continue to uh, make some more uh, adventures. So. And again, let us know if this is on your bucket list. Yes. We would love to. And if you came, did you find anything? Put a comment down below. Hey, hon, what are we doing now? We are going through and digging. We took our dirt that we had and we brought back. And now we're doing our final kind of final inspection to see yeah. that's what we do here. It's calmer. Yeah. So we're at our campground, RV site, and they have this cute they got their own little station. Uh, station, station so that you can come back and it's really it's really neat. What'd you find, Hans? I found a diamond. No, no diamond. It looks like a diamond to me. It's got good color in there, though. I mean, I know. It's a good flip. I'm saying.